It is a big number, but not unexpected. We will now exceed well over a thousand cases a day. I'm just waiting for that day and it will come soon. Today's figures beat all the records, not just for new cases, but also for hospitalisations. There were more than 1,200 new cases recorded overnight, though the actual number is likely higher. 24 people are now in hospital as a result of the virus. Three are in intensive care on ventilators. More than 20% of people aged 18 and older have now received a booster shot. There was better news for those wanting tests, though. Some lines were only 10 minutes long this afternoon. But while many get on with living this new COVID normal, others are struggling. Kerry Evans' sister raised her and has been receiving palliative care at Canberra Hospital. Her exemption application, which would have allowed a visit, was denied last week. I was absolutely beside myself every night not knowing whether or not I was going to get to see my sister the next day, whether or not she would be alive to see me the next day. Last night, the family were finally allowed to see her. It was very emotional. Um, I promised myself I would be strong. I wasn't. I burst out crying and I just said, I'm so sorry I couldn't get here. They're frustrated it took so long and say communication was poor. Given that she was in a state where they were not even sure she would wake up, not to be able to get a daily update given that I couldn't see her for myself and I couldn't visit her, it caused so much anxiety. Enforcing the restrictions isn't a happy job for anyone. The consideration of um, exemptions is probably one of the trickiest um, parts of this um, COVID response. And certainly none of us take any of this lightly but they're likely to remain in place for at least another few weeks. We really only want people on campus that need to be on campus where it is absolutely essential so that we can reduce the foot traffic. That's a long time for some families. We need to make some really difficult decisions here sometimes in order to keep everybody safe. Camera might have opened back up, but the virus continues to impact our most vulnerable and those who love them. Holly Trigenza, ABC News, Canberra.